Hi everyone, um, I'm doing a nail art again, um, I'm going to be putting white with leaves on her nails and I'm also going to be putting these on top which I think are really nice, I hope you can see them but I really do think they're lovely, they go all different colours like the rainbow. And they really do look nice because I've actually got the same on my nails. And I think they look really good. I'm actually going to be redoing mine today, the transfers. Because they I was in a rush doing them last night. But I will show you what they come out like. Um, this is the glue I'm using. I might be putting a swirl around the top of them with this, which is gold. It's really, really beautiful. I'll show you. It really is stunning. When I could get the lid off. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. There we go. And that's the colour gold, which I think is really pretty. So, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing today as a nail art video. So I'm just going to put her some nails on, which are coffin shape. I'll just give you a look at them. Them I'm going to be putting on her because she hasn't actually got any nails because she bites them all the time. And then I will be back. Hi, everyone. Um, I've just put her nails on, as you can see. So I'm just about to put a layer of this on. And then... I will show you a couple of fingers that I'm doing and then I'll do the rest off camera. I'm going to do her four fingers first and then I'm going to do her thumbs at the end because I can't get all her fingers in to cure properly. Because they're not the lights aren't in the right spot for her thumbs on my lamp. Just put a thin layer on, and then I'm going to put white onto them, and then I'm going to encapsulate them with more gel. And strengthen them after. They look a lot better when they're encapsulated with gel, to be honest, than when they're on the top. So. It is self-leveling, this gel, so it'll level out as, as I put it on while she waits. It'll level out quite nicely for me, which is good. Right, there's her four nails covered with gel. I'll do the others off camera and be back in a second. Hi, everyone. Right, I've put one layer of gel on her nails. I am just about to file and buff them. And then I'll be back and show you what they look like filed and buffed. Right, Um. here are the... Uh, filed and buffed. I'm going to put a white coat on them. I've just got to file and buff the other hand. And I will be back in a second once I've done the other hand. Hi. Right, I'm going to put two coats of this on. I will show you with a couple of fingers. I like to get it in between the bristles to start with on the brush. I do use an acrylic brush for this because I find it a lot easier to... Uh, get round the edges and stuff.
Right, now because I've caught a little bit of a finger, I'm just going to do a bit of a tidy up with a clean up brush around your fingers. Right, they're going in the lamp now for 30 seconds. And I'm going to do a rather round and we'll be back. Right, there are nails with two coats of white on. I'm just going to put this no white top coat on now so that the glue's got something to stick to to put. The transfers on with Right, she's been around the lamp for 30 seconds and I'll do the other end and we'll be back. Hi everyone, we're back. I've just put the top coat on uh, her nails and I'm just about to put this glue, which is from eBay. And as long as you get a glue that goes like a greeny bluey colour on the nail and comes out greeny blue, looks white in the bottle, but comes out greeny blue on the nail. That's the best one to get because I had quite a few different glues and they don't work. A lot of them don't work. They do go see-through, but they're not sticky enough. So I was advised to get this one by a friend and it does work really well, to be honest. So you just put it on the nail like so and you have to wait for it to dry properly before you try putting any transfers on it at all. Because if you don't, it won't work. You don't wait long enough it won't transfer it just goes all funny so right now i'm going to do this to all the nails and once it's dried properly we shall be back right i put these ones on her fingers already because i needed to see that they were ready to come off the, the glue was ready so I think they look really good. And now I'm going to just show you how I put them on. So you just grab them with the tweezers like so. Position it where you want it roughly. And then just put it on and make sure you rub all the corners down and everything onto the nail. Some bits might not stick, some bits will. She's only got tiny fingers, so some bits don't stick, and some bits do. <laughs> and there's her other one. And this one is actually going to have her gold um, skull on it, once I've put some more gel on it. So I'm actually putting this one at the bottom. Like so. And there you go. And then there's this one, which is the one that goes on the sun. Mm. 
Like I say, just put it on and flatten it down. Try and hit all the creases that come in it, obviously, so it all sticks down like so. I do try to rub it down with my nail. And then you just grab the corner and pull up. So there's her other end. And I think that looks absolutely lovely. So I'm going to put another layer of gel over them now, as I've only put a little layer over them so far. And then I will be back to show you how I put the gold skull on. See you in a minute. 